First at 11, President Joe Biden taking the oath of office, calling for national unity and quickly getting to work on this inauguration day. Good evening, South Florida. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. I'm Lauren Pastrana. In any other year, the inaugural balls would be in full swing right now. Instead, our nation's capital is relatively quiet. Feared protests and violence never happened. Former President Donald Trump now here in Florida. And tonight, President Joe Biden says democracy has prevailed. CBS 4's Natalie Brand is live in Washington to begin our coverage of this monumental day. Natalie. Hi, Lauren Elliott. There are no crowds of people in the street, no back-to-back -back inaugural balls tonight, but that did not take away from the tradition or significance of today. President Biden acknowledging great challenges ahead, but pledging unity as the path forward. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. After taking the oath of office, the 46th president declared that democracy prevailed and called for unity. My whole soul is in this, bringing America together, uniting our people, uniting our nation. The first Latina U.S. Supreme Court justice swore in Vice President Kamala Harris, the first woman and person of African American and South Asian heritage to hold the office. So help me God. So help me God. Can you see? A-list celebrities performed for the occasion as three former presidents, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama, and two former vice presidents, Dan Quayle and Mike Pence, looked on. Have a good life. Now former President Donald Trump broke tradition and left Washington prior to the festivities. The former president did keep with one tradition. He left a note for the incoming president on the Resolute desk. The president uh, wrote a very generous letter. I have it because it was private. I will uh, not talk about it until I talk to him. Earlier, the president and vice president laid a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier and then followed a military band to the White House, kicking off a virtual parade featuring performers from around the country. Along with the pomp and circumstance, the president and vice president also got to work. As president of the Senate, Vice President Harris sworn three new Democratic senators, and President Biden signed 17 executive actions and virtually swore in more than 100 high-level administration officials. Also tonight, the Senate voted to confirm President Biden's pick for the Director of National Intelligence, Avril Haines. Both Florida senators voting yes, and she will be the first woman to lead the intelligence community. Live in Washington, I'm Natalie Brand, CBS4 News Tonight. Natalie, thank you.